Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Today's lesson is on distribution of two brackets or a process I like to call FOIL. First times first, outer times outer, inner times inner and last times last. First times first means that you take the first term in the first bracket and you multiply it with the first term in the second bracket. Outer times outer are your two outermost terms, so the two terms that are furthest away from each other. Inner times inner are the two terms that are closest to each other, the inside terms. And last times last is the last term in the first bracket multiplied with the last term in the second bracket. So if we look at the first example of x plus 1 times x plus 2, I know that they are being multiplied together because these two brackets are touching each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first term in my first bracket multiplied with my first term in my second bracket. I'm going to try to color code it so that you can see where everything is coming from. So first times first, x times x gives me x squared. Then I'm going to do outer times outer. So the two terms that are furthest away from each other which would be the x and the positive 2. And positive x times positive 2 is positive 2x. Inner times inner, the two terms that are closest to each other, which would be this 1 and this x. And 1 times x is positive x, or for this example, I'm just going to say positive 1x. And then I'm doing last times last. The last term in the first bracket multiplied with the last term in the second bracket, and positive 1 times positive 2 is positive 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect my like terms. So those are the middle terms. So I now have the x squared carried down. Positive 2x plus 1x is positive 3x and carry down my plus 2. So x plus 1 times x plus 2 gives me x squared plus 3x plus 2. We have x plus 5, x times x plus 6. So first times first, the first term in each of the brackets, x times x, gives me x squared. Outer times outer, the two terms furthest away from each other, x times positive 6 gives me positive 6x. Inner times inner, 5 times x gives me a positive 5x. And last times last, the last terms in each of the brackets, positive 5 times positive 6 gives me positive 30. Now I'm going to collect my like terms. Simplified, it becomes x squared, 6x and 5x gives me 11x plus 30. Next example, x minus 2, x plus 12. So now I have a negative and a positive. But I'm just going to remember my multiplication rules. So I start first times first. x times x gives me x squared. Remember, when you multiply the same bases, you add the exponents. Outer times outer, x times positive 12 gives me positive 12x. Inner times inner, minus 2 times x. A negative times a positive is a negative. 2x. And last times last, the last term in both of the brackets multiplied together, a positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 12 is 24. Now I'm going to add my terms together, collect my like terms. So I'm going to be left with x squared. Positive 12x minus 2x is positive 10x. Carry down my negative 24. Next example, I have x minus 3, x minus 4, first times first, x times x gives me x squared. Outer times outer, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Inner times inner, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Last times last, negative 3 times negative 4 gives me a positive 12. Collect my like terms in the middle. I have x squared minus 4x minus 3x. It's negative 4x. It's getting more negative. So minus 4 minus 3 is negative 7x plus 12. 
Remember, you're not going to say two negatives make a positive because two negatives only make a positive when you're multiplying them, not when you're subtracting. When you're subtracting numbers, your numbers are going to keep getting smaller. Looking at our last example, I have a coefficient in front of my x. So I'm going to say first times first and 2x times x gives me 2x squared. Outer times outer. 2x times negative 3, a positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 3 is 6, carry down your x. Inner times inner, positive 1 times x is positive 1x. And last times last, positive 1 times negative 3, a positive times a negative is a negative. 1 times 3 is 3. Collect my like terms in the middle, and I'm going to be left with 2x squared minus 6x plus 1x is negative 5x carry down my minus 3. And that's it. That's how you foil out two brackets. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped you. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Remember, the more you do, the better you'll be. Check out my other video on how to factorize trinomials to get back to your brackets. Yeah, interesting. See you soon.